Jack. Hey, Mike. Great to see you here at the Commercial UAV Show in Las Vegas. Great to see you too. Hey. Thanks for stopping by the booth. Yeah, you bet. Hey, I wanted to ask a bit um, for the benefit of the GeoNet audience that may not be that familiar with like construction, survey, mining, and these industries that need high precision. Can you talk a little bit about the history of precise location in these markets? Yeah, so Propeller's been around for about 10 years now, so we've seen some of the evolution of the various survey methods. But going back to even before Propeller, the means of surveying was very, very manual. You can think stakes in the ground, you can think levels, that sort of thing. Uh, and then enter drone surveying, where you have one drone, which is essentially you know a, a hunk of plastic in the air with no high accuracy capabilities, just taking photos. And then we had to kind of litter the ground with ground control points. Uh, one of them is a product that we make called AeroPoints. It's our smart ground control target. Um, you had to litter those across the site, and that's what would make your survey highly accurate. Multiple points to pin the model down. Then in comes PPK and RTK. This let us get away with far fewer ground control. Think one or two ground control points for a 100 plus acre site. Um, and we saw improved accuracy with far less work in the field for the people that are actually surveying. And that's kind of the world we find ourselves in now. Propeller does photogrammetry processing, LIDAR processing, uh, but it's in this, this high accuracy PPK, RTK, which is kind of where GeoNet comes in, yep, that space. Yep. Super. What's the thing that customers most love about the Propeller product? I think customers love a few different things. Our background is processing photogrammetry. Um, and we've gotten our processing pipeline very, very refined in that regard. Oh, sure. But we spent a lot of resources, uh, especially recently, on what we call our visualizer. So that's where the 3D models are displayed. That's the measurement tools. That's the survey layers. That's uh, where you can import designs into our platform and do a survey versus design comparison to track volumes. Um, that's where we've really spent a lot of resources recently. And our aim in the next few years is really to become the hub of geospatial data on a worksite. Super cool, super cool. So let's get back to GeoNet. How yeah. did you hear about GeoNet? Yeah, Propeller does something pretty cool with its employees. We, um, well, the, the higher ups give all the employees a professional development budget that they can spend. And I happen to be interested in base stations. So I used some of those funds and I went out and purchased a base station from Rock Robotic. Oh, wow. Um, and set it up on my house. I did a drone flight. I corrected all the drone images from the Rhinex data that I pulled from the base station. I also corrected the AeroPoints location and ended up with a really nice model and then presented that back to the team with all of my learnings from setting up a base station and, and all of that. Uh, little did I know that when I was buying the base station, it was also compatible with GeoNet. So I discovered that. Uh, hooked up my base station to the GeoNet network, started mining some crypto tokens, which was fun. Yeah. Um, and then totally independently, actually, separate from the, the my professional development adventures, uh, Ben from your team reached out on LinkedIn and said that he wanted to explore a potential partnership between Propeller and GeoNet because we think that you know Propeller could benefit from it. And then the conversation went from there, and here we are. Super cool. So that brings me to another question. What are some of the benefits that you see of GeoNet in Propeller's business? Yeah, there's two main value propositions, I think, that GeoNet brings to Propeller. It's improving the robustness of the Propeller Corrections Network and improving the reach of the Propeller Corrections Network. Now, just real quick, the Propeller Corrections Network is this network of base stations throughout the world that allow us to get highly accurate data for the drone imagery and also for the arrow point. Um, if you don't have a known location on your site, you can use data from the Propeller Corrections Network to correct these data sources. Uh, GeoNet expands that offering for Propeller. So in areas that are not covered by base stations, GeoNet can help. Um, and also there's various troubleshooting steps that we use. If we were able to pull multiple um, correction sources from different base stations, that can help us improve a, a PPK fix. So if we're able to pull from GeoNet, in addition to all of the other base stations, that's great for us. Super, super cool. Well, uh, thanks for taking the time, Jack, and yeah. great to see you here at the show. Yeah, it's been fun. All thanks, right. Mike. Cheers. GeoNet. Mind the sky.